Mike. Hi, everybody. We're back for round three of the uh, Black Moon Squadron League tournament finals. So we are in the semi-final round right now. We have Eric on the left, and uh, we have um, Josh on the right. Uh, just give me a second to adjust there a couple of things here. So we have uh, Rebs here. And Rebs here. There we go. So we have a Rebel versus Rebel list. We have Lorik, Biggs Darklighter, and Miranda on uh, Eric's side. On Josh's side, we got Dash and Lothal Rebel. Uh, should be an interesting match. Uh, these guys are both top tier pilots in the area, so this is going to be a really good thing. I'm going to actually pass off here to Jason. Howdy, howdy. Who is going to give some commentary while I deke out for a little bit of food. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Speak up. Oh, I know. Yes. Yeah, just it's don't, one of the things. Don't, I'm going to be sitting right here. Don't feel right bad here. about speaking too close to the mic. There's no such thing as too close to the mic. Yes. So we have two folks here getting ready to play the game. So I'm just going to go in studio mode. Sing? So I don't say. your dice cam. If you can't see it, just uh, have a look. switch it over there. Okay. Sounds good. Excellent. And the this only is switching really need between to screens? Yeah, the only things you really need to mess with are this one, yeah. uh, X-Streamer, and uh, then the actual just preview. Okay. Good to go. It's another semi-final game. Yeah, let me just Finals are still coming. Thing. Go Which to one? this one. Uh, yeah, we're still good. Okay. Okay, uh, oh, we'll be back in a few. Yeah, We'll soon have your regular host back here to take care of things for you. So you won't have this hack dealing with X-Wing lists. Hmm. Let's take a look at these lists. Hmm? Chat. Oops. Oh, oh, if you want to get, really if you want to see some, something right, in the chat, go to chat right here and put right. it in the chat. Go where you go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Easy peasy. Now, uh, the chat is always on top. Okay. So if you don't want to see the chat, just minimize it. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. Thank you, sir. Extremer. In a oh, so the game will be starting in a minute, folks. <laughs> and then we'll get to see Eric versus Josh. Should be fascinating. Not huge on the bomb meta here. Oh no, there's that bomb with generator. There we go. Live people, do we actually have watching right now? All right, I'm seeing nine eyes. Semi finals are starting. I will be starting the clock. One hour and 15 minutes to go. Yeah. 
Is that Xena on there again? <laughs> that is Xena on the channel again, and we got a 50 50 split between asteroids and debris. We're here in person, you don't have to be on there. <laughs> Both are primarily shooty lists, but with dash, yeesh. Let's see what's on these lists. Time has started. Renault Slam smuggling compartment countermeasures. Heavy laser cannon, lone wolf outrider, and Ray as crew. Fire control system, auto blaster turret, Harris Sindel, and Ezra Big Light. Bridger. Bridger? Bridger. Up. That mm. Azatuck placement. Critical in the early game. <laughs> this, is like calling golf. <laughs> this is like calling golf. We'll be doing golf claps periodically. <laughs> Eric is flying the only Azatuck in this store game series right now, so this is going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this will be interesting to see how it plays out. <laughs> Someone's got it in for low rick, though. I don't know whether this is a grudge match because of that, or uh, Zena, maybe you want to tell us why you're so upset with low rick. Speaking of Lorik, Lorik has Ray and selflessness there. Biggs, of course, flying with the integrated Astromech and R2. And Miranda with a bomb generator and proximity mines with Sabine. Lots of extra damage from the bombs uh, flying around here. Dials are going for the first round.
<laughs> and Josh is staying close to his edge of the board at the start. is going to be a very interesting combination coming out here, that is for sure. Now does Dash move away from the edge of the board? Yes, he does. <laughs> a hard one. Trixie K-Wing. Yes. It's all because we're sticking two on the super blue, so like fuck it from the back row, man. With the advanced slam, the K-Wing is always capable of drifting like that. It's just not often presented that way on the board, so it's a uh, good job there on the mod. <laughs> We're starting to smell the smoke from the consideration that's going on here between the heads. Have a kicks maneuverable ship, which I didn't. Ah, well, that's true. <laughs> Stay in front of the bombs. Yeah, that's that's an important tactic here. But with the advanced slam on the K wing, they can get past you pretty quick. Playing in the semifinals right now, we have Eric Josh and Artos and Ray playing. It should be interesting to see who makes it into the finals. Those of you who tune into the channel frequently have probably seen similar matchups in the quarters and semifinals before. <laughs> there will definitely be X Wings. Well, we have four rebel lists in the finals. Only one is using big ships. This should be fascinating.
Ghost should be able to do some decent damage on uh, Lorik and Biggs. But it's that guaranteed evade that's going to make this an interesting... Fifty six and forty three for the two ships, the two big ships. Fifty six for Dash, forty three for the Ghost. Still no shots and going into round three. is going on here all of this consideration in the early game to figure out which corner they're going to be fighting in Eric you've got a story behind that wing on the x-wing don't you no? Well, uh, so it got, it got smashed in, uh, in my case. It got smashed in the and, case. Um, and, and then I figured it was the perfect next one to be big because big just dies and gets destroyed. So. <laughs> okay. Given Big's brief lifespan on the table, it's good to have a broken model for him. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Oh, here it comes. I don't know if it's slow boating. So close. Not quite. <laughs> round four. Oh no, still round three. The K Wing hadn't moved yet. I missed it. I think he went to Tim's. Should be back shortly. Oh. What do you need to get? Um, I think it's still Oh. Well, I can't help you with that right there. <laughs> but he should be back shortly. No shots fired. No. Dials are going down again into round four. Dash is running away. What's that? They can't hear what he said. Yes, I'm. Joking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the, the mic's on? <laughs> oh, the mic's on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
Got a dead space over by Josh and Larry there. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you're interested in putting the dials up to the camera. We can keep the players from seeing them here, but it gives you a chance to see what they're thinking before they get revealed on the table. Yes, watching poker online, you could see what those dials were in advance. Yes, more cameras, more often, <laughs> showing more things on the small screen. Um, but here is. As it took, reveals. Oh no, the ghost reveals first. Eric's ready. Josh is ready. Everybody's ready. Revealing starts. Turn four. <gasps> and the ghost moves forward slightly. And is focusing. Hmm. Yeah, I guess the beginning is a very delicate time. <laughs> the beginning is a very delicate time. <laughs> but we don't know who the spice runner is here, although I suspect it would be the ghost. <laughs> yes, I said spice runner. <laughs> Uh oh. And Dash <coughs> pulling the honey badger routine here, going over an asteroid. And is attempting to target her up Lock Miranda, but just out of range. But he gets a good view of the board. Dash is doing a honey badger move right now. Dash, landing on an asteroid? He don't care. Nope. Nope. My favorite list to fly is Dash double Z's. Glenn ran to get a bite to eat. Dash double Z's is my favorite Dash double Z's? That makes sense. That's a fun list. Play with Blount with an eye on Pulse Missile. Oh, Blount and I on Pulse Missile. Okay. And also Aaron with a pocket. Huh. So what do you think is happening in here? When we take a look at this. T oh. And Miranda is now within range three. We are going to have combat this round. Woo combat. Pew pew. <laughs> More pew pew. Yay. Pew Pew is your favorite thing, yeah. It's not a game of X-Wing without some Pew Pew. Nope. Although with all the bombs that are landing on the tables this tournament. It seems like there's not going to be as much combat this tournament because... There are fewer bombs. Or more bombs. There's more bombs. More bombs more, bombs more often. Um, Scott rolled nine blanks. Oof. <laughs> yes, finally pew pew. But still no damage on the board. So let's see. Any hits Turn four. No hits yet. But just. Oh. 
for the hits, guys. Hope for the hits. Hey, uh, who's not playing over there? Uh, Just comment, hope for the hits. Hey, Scott. Scott, Scott, come here. Can you come back to race for us? Try to figure out the best one. Okay. Just put the finger on the ghost. Here we go. It's a close one. Someone might be at range three. See? Just barely. It's. Yep, the ruling from a quick impartial is that it is in. Biggs can fire at range three. That was close. But if the ruler can't lay flat, at the closest, the closest point, that means it's within range three, right? Technically. It is a technical game in some respects. Oh. Three hits on the ghost. Three shields down. Three shields down on the ghost. That's got to be Yep. But it's the first round, or first round of firing. Yeah, I guess. Three hits, though. Yeah. Azatuck. One. Uh, can you make sure you roll in here, though, Eric? Yeah. It doesn't have to be right now, but yeah. There we go. Just don't forget to roll in there, guys. Then the people can actually see okay, what it so is. Another hit. Oh, shoot. So I'm shooting digs. So your Lothal Rebel is down to zero shields. Dash is out of round range. Yeah. Hmm. Well, given all the prepositioning in the opening salvo, getting rid of all those shields, it's going to be interesting to see where this goes now. All those shields off the ghost this early. Oh god, that's gonna be ghost. Painful for the ghost? Oh. It's got a fair chunk of hull to chew through though. True. Still gonna hit the head for has no shields. Any crit will go straight through. Dials down, going into round five. And the ghost doing a bold maneuver in. I think it does have the most hole in the game. A 10? Oh. Getting reports from the other tables. Yes. <laughs> Dice not being cooperative for Scott today. That's a shame. That's not really... He's benefited from them working well for him on other occasions, though, I think. Yes.
quick check. Azatuk sweeping by a little bit. Yep. Crashed his wing into something. His top left wing. Biggs did crash his wing into something. Smash. <laughs> it's as if like he was backing into something and it was just a. It was like he's going sideways. And he didn't realize it was and it was just above him. So yep. Tang. His wing just like curled. Curled up. <laughs> Did it? Yeah, it does look a little curled up there, but it's a good way to mark the difference on the ships. Dash is coming in now. Oh, Dash! Ah, this is this is true. Yes, especially on scrambles. <laughs> the Scots base play scramble often. Um, not that I'm aware of. Oh, but but Zena does. And the K-Wing moves. Does it bump? I like how... how uh, yes, it will bump. Yes, K-Wing tilted. Yes. It makes it look, like, much better. Every, it just makes it look much better. <laughs> Customizing them a little bit that way? Yep. Yes. Well, you're starting to see a lot more customization on most of the ships out here now. Yeah, I'm starting to. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a good job on the dash. And it just helps when you've got this many ships that are the same on the boards. Painting them up, customizing them a bit. But, well, more than numbers is the nice thing. Miranda's going to TLT dash. Miranda TLTing dash to start. More pew pew. More pew pew. Um. And Dash still has full hull and full shields. Oh, and here we go. Two hits. So that TLT managed to strip one shield off of Dash. Three attack dice coming in on Biggs. Four. Oh. Heavy laser cannon from Dash on Biggs. Two hits and a crit. Off the heavy laser cannon. Here comes the defensive dice. Three of eights. No damage. Auto blaster turret on Biggs coming in here. Reroll the crit. Oof, two hits. Okay. And that was on. Sorry. On Biggs, two hits on Biggs. Back to dials. We have no shields on Biggs, no shields on the Ghost. But Diggs is, Biggs is still in the game. Hmm. Fascinating. Oh, Scott's the belt holder for Scramble. Well. Wow. 
We've got Larry attentively watching this game as well. Giving it almost as much careful consideration as Eric is, considering where he's going to move his ships right now. Sometimes you gotta take your time and plan your moves out. It's just, there's so many different variables you gotta consider. <laughs> this is true. Sometimes it takes forever with the moves, and other times it's pretty easy. <laughs> The smell of smoke is thick in the air, though, right now. <laughs> I always find it interesting watching people fly ships that I don't own either, too. So. Well, that's this is why the Aztec is going to be interesting to see where it ends up in the final four here. Yeah. It's such deep thoughts on Eric's part. This is true. That K-Wing. And keeping Biggs in the game. Every round that Biggs is in there is another round that he can't do damage to another squad mate. Eric's got Miranda, right? Or... Yes. Yeah, so he's got to protect Miranda as much as, as long as possible because he's the best chance to win. Yep. Yeah. Gigs, Miranda, and Lorik versus Dash and Lothal. Rebel. I don't think anybody's flying in the Imperial today. I haven't seen any Imperial. No, not in the top four at least. We've got an all Rebel top four right there. One has a tuck. Lots of bombs. Oh my goodness for bombs. Bombs and bomb generators. Although, when I look at these lists, you're still seeing the standard X-Wings. and yeah. Biggs is still in three of the four lists. Two of the four That's lists? Ah, like Garvin, uh, Garvin instead, yeah, okay. <laughs> Passing the focus. 4X, this is truth. <laughs> Artos double down on the X-Wings. Four X-Wings between four players right now. Yeah. Dials are down. Are we ready to start turn six? With 40 minutes left to go. Take a stress token and sits there. So at the end of this, the interesting question will be if the formation still holds for Eric. Yeah. Formation filing is really tricky. But really when critical. I the, when I first started the game, like the part that got me is when my formation was broken, especially when I was flying a swarm, and then that always messed me up. But yeah. I've gotten a lot better now that, you know, when it breaks up, that I can actually fly my ships a lot better and know what to do with them more now than when I used to. So. Yeah. Dash flying all over the place. See, I'm not familiar with Dash. This is kind of really interesting to watch. So. Yeah, that whole not caring about asteroids. Now Miranda. Oh, and Glenn's back. But he's going to eat a little bit first. Did you break it yet? No, I didn't break it yet. Okay. But I'm working on it. There's plenty of time. How's the game going? The game is going well. We got zero. Holy bump of room over there. Yeah, this, this, it's been six rounds. Yeah. Nice. And we just got the shields off of the Ghost and off of Biggs. 
So right now, yeah, he managed to drop that little bomblet, and it will at least do damage to Dash. It'll be interesting to see if he manages to hit the ghost with that as well. And he's managed to keep his form. Uh, he will at least bump Vinks. I mean, like, going to do that. That'd be neat, actually. You get like a little glass thing that you can place him on as a camera. But we'll likely be able to fit right in there between the ghost and Vix. <laughs> and in the process of doing that, manages to set himself up for the next round. We're at the end of the activation phase, and that little bomblet goes off. So two damage dice for the ghost. So the ghost took damage there or no? Oh. And how many hull off of uh, the ghost? The Dash lost three shields in that engagement from the bomb going off with Sabine Ren again coming in and making the difference. So a bomb generator with Sabine is a pretty nasty little uh, round by round shot here. A combination I'm going to have to keep in mind for next game. So that attack, let's see here. Dash is awesome, yes, Dash is awesome. Nice. At least get some ideas, right? Yeah. This will be interesting. But we're into the pew pew phase. Honey badger, screw. Dash is a honey badger. He don't care. He don't care. He don't care. <laughs> Just goes where he wants. So Miranda's, oh, Miranda two hits and a crit on the ghost. So three damage. Heavy laser cannon now. Coming in on Miranda. He's bending some dice. Four hits on Miranda. Ooh. Biggs. So two hits on Biggs. Biggs is down to one hull. Two hull. Biggs is down to two hull. <laughs> so three more to the... Three hull left. Auto blaster on Biggs. Two hits. Starting to go through Lowrick now. So all that moves to Lowrick, and Lowrick takes what? Lowrick took two. Took two off the shields, okay.
See, and that's where this is the cool stuff to be able to start shifting the damage between bigs and lower to keep bigs in the game longer. And then the bomb would generate on the K-Wing. Let's see, what's going on in the chat really quick? Is still considering. Eric is good to go. Josh is good to go. Hey, so Eric, just going over your ships real quick again. Um, your full hull, one shield on Lorik. Uh, yep. Biggs is at two hull left. Yep. Hey, and Miranda is sitting with five hull and four shields. Uh, she's missing two shields. So she's taking. Ah, uh, so she did take some hits in during an attack earlier that came and snuck in there. Okay, so five hull, two shields on Miranda. Good. Thank you, sir. Was that on the outside? Got some space starting to open up with the ghost flipping around. Is Dash going? <laughs> and I think Dash is just going to keep running back and forth over top of that asteroid because I don't think he cares much about it. And it keeps everybody else away from him. Oh, I'm getting some reports from the other table that Ray is having problems with his dice. With 30 minutes remaining in these games. Another bombet dropping very quickly. Got some space opening up on the board from that initial joust. Josh, just to make sure that we've got this accurate on here, you've got five hull and one shield left on dash. Yes. And on your Lothar Rebel, you have three hull left? Okay. The ghost is limping. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, and here we go. Console fire roll for the crit that was in there. And an extra damage. Console fire on the damp. On the lothal rabbro. Okay. Two hull left. On the ghost. Oh, this is going to be interesting. All nope. right, Stickus is go. back. Stickus is back. What's up, everybody? Just getting caught back up here. Glad to see folks uh, enjoying watching the the, uh, the games today. Let's see what we're at here. Dash is taking some shields. Lothal Rebels down. Dash is at half. And one. Dash is at half. Dash is at half? Uh, I'm still showing no, Dash no, with no. one shield. Dash, no, no, shouldn't. So Sometimes it doesn't update quite the way uh, you want it to. Yeah, you have to make sure you hit the update button. Oh, got a head. Dash render. Oh, no, there you go. So Dash is at half, which means uh, one shield down. He's, out, he's no shields, full hull, right? Yeah. For Dash? Uh, no, no shields and four hull. No shields, four hull, got it. Okay. And then, and then, uh, update the hull as well. It's four hull. The oh, four hull. Yo, what's I know. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. The chat is the chat. It is what it is. I'm never really worried about it. As long as people are enjoying the game, uh, the match after the fact. So. Whoa, what was that? Oh, you just broke it out here. Hold on a second. Yeah, I didn't mean to do. It's all right. We're just going to drag it back oh, in. Oh, it's just a click and drag. Yeah, because it's just Windows inside. Just yeah, yeah. Trying to focus. Okay. So we're on. You got. So he's got half points on both your dudes, eh? Yeah. And do you have. What do you have killed? Nothing. Oh, jeez. I've got like two shields off of Yorick and Dash. Wow. Well, we're to keep it up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Josh is fighting the good fight. Yep. All right. But the ability to move to that Azatum and shift the damage from Biggs has oh, been making it a so huge good. difference. Yeah, well, and especially when you got regen on Biggs like that, right? Yep. Yep. And it makes a huge difference in how that uh, how that all plays out. And it just keeps Biggs and Miranda in the game longer. Yep. So we got 25 minutes left in this round of uh, in the semifinal round here. Eric versus Josh. Looks like they are fighting hard right now. Oh, the the initial positioning on the board though took four rounds just to get to the first pass. Oh, you betcha. You betcha. Sometimes it's all about. All about that. Yep. <laughs> but in the first pass, <laughs> stripping the shields off the ghosts, and then with the, the shields in the first pass. Yeah. Oh. Ouch. And then managing to get through mm -hmm. a full eight points of hull. Holy smokes. There was a fortuitous bump, mm -hmm. a good bump it sounds for Eric good. that allowed him to sort of do all that damage. I asked if you wanted a drink and you said, I don't care. Give me back my drink. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to step away from the mic for a little bit because yeah, I have to no grab worries. some stuff really Thank quick. Thank you. Thank you for covering for me. Well, do it a little bit. Yep. Thanks, Jason. All good. I appreciate it. Hey, Josh, I'm good. Yeah. Okay, dial's down. They're ready.
On the rock? Oh no! Ghost on the rocks! No damage. Mmm. Takes one more. Ouch. So that's two hull left on the ghost. Actually, theory crafting lifts really similar to yours, Eric. Yeah. So nobody's got range on that bomb. All right. Two hits in on the ghost, and the ghost goes down. That ghost has been busted. <laughs> and Biggs is still on the board. That damn regen Biggs is just tanking hard. It helps that Laura can be like, no, no, dude, I got you back. Yeah. Range three obstruction, right? Awesome. Oh yeah, I can see it.
how'd that shot on Biggs go? Down to one hole. Oh man. And you lost R2, eh? I've lost R2! Cream. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smacking with a rolled up newspaper like a dog. No, R2, no! <laughs> so, hmm? You're running off caffeine now? Yeah. Uh, no, when I put it together in the list builder, it only came up to 100 points. I'm not sure why you're getting 103. Which list? Your list. Yeah, you brought it up for 100. I, brought it, I, I actually put it into uh, X-Wing Squad Builder uh, online. And it is 100 points. I, I actually have to take people's lists and put them in to get an XWS file out. So uh, that's basically me confirming that, yes, this list is 100 points. Yeah. We counted it very carefully. It's, it's useful to know how many points different shots. Uh, no, I don't think he's got prox mines. He's got the bomblet generator. Yeah, bomblet, TLT, and Sabine on there. Sorry, which one? Oh, Ma, yeah, Miranda Biggs Rex Jess, is it? Or no, Lorick Riggs Bex, Biggs Rex Jess. So you take Lorick with Draw Their Fire and Ray. And Ray, yeah. And then you have. And I'm ready to hear it. And then you take Biggs with Art 46 and Integrated. integrated. Yeah. And you have Jess with Art 24. Oh, and you give her an EPT. Yeah, so she can take that extra hit. Yeah. 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 And Rex is just like, look at my lustrous mustache. Oh, it's showing Prox Mines. That's weird. I don't know why it would show. Oh, it added Prox Mines in for some reason. Yeah, I'm not sure why the XWS. Show added prox mines in. There are not prox mines on there. Yeah, somehow it added proximity mines in. So thank you for catching that. So yeah, uh, it is not 103 points. It's just an error in the XWS file. Getting a couple of those. Yeah. 
don't need a gaming table, just like you don't need painted minis, gorgeous artwork, uh, rich theme, elegant mechanics, and player interaction. <laughs> Yeah, they got some videos too showing Well, uh, this is really nice because the, uh, what was it, Geek Chic that did uh, really top end board game, uh, game tables is now bankrupt. Yeah, they ran out of money. Okay, what's the pricing, guys? Uh, it's like a few thousand, I can tell you. Yeah, that. I figured. All right, so I'll save up for a year or two. <laughs> Depends on kind of like how big of a table you want, and what what type of uh, wood you wanted, and yeah. all different yeah. things going on. I'm gonna try and fix the XWS here. Hold on, guys. Oh, did I miss something? No, no, no. You didn't miss nothing. It, for some reason, it added Prox Mines to his list. Oh, right there. So is Biggs dead yet? Nope. No. Still one hull left, eh? Oh. I only got two hits. I target lock. And Lorik is still just fine, as well as Miranda, right? Oh, yeah. Lorik took like two shields. Took two. Okay. He's selflessness. Ah, okay. And but Miranda's doing just fine. But the ghost is down. Yeah. That should show a little better. Yeah, that's better. Thank you so much for catching that. We really appreciate uh, your sharp eyes catching our mistakes. One of the interesting things I was noticing is that we've got four rebels in the top four here. Yeah, yeah. Lots of rebel lists flying right now. Yeah, I don't think anybody flew Imperial today. No, not a, there hasn't actually come to think of it. There is not a single Imperial list in the field today. It's all either Rebel Scum and mostly Rebels. So, there you go. That shows it, everybody. Rebels, back in the metal. Uh, back in the metal. Super solid. I like putting it into a full screen preview as well. And that way I can see the whole dang thing. Yeah, it makes sense. I see it a lot better that way. I was wondering if you would Nice. The top four at the last store tournament you went at, went to or store championship were all were four rebels. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, getting another device that you could have on the side with the, with the I'm actually gonna be getting a uh, nineteen inch monitor that I'll just carry with me. So because I got VGA out over here, so right, so we have a result on the other table. Oh and other table is R rookie ace wins. Whoa. 184. All I had was Rex left. Nice. Good job. 86, well 86, done. 86. Well done. So Arto scratched. I have no idea how I even won that. None whatsoever. Wow. I was. I thought I was dead to rights. Yeah. On turn one, he killed uh, Biggs. Yeah. On turn two, he killed Ahsoka. Oh, no. So all I had was Rex and <laughs> Moldy Crow. And you got it with I Rex got, and... Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. I finished this list with Rex and Moldy Crow. <laughs> Good job. Good job, wow. buddy. Well, the fact that I focused hard Poe, and Poe died also in all that exchange, but... Thank you. Sometimes you just got to make that trade. So just confirming, Big still has one. Miranda's unhurt. Dash is. Miranda's lost three shields. Oh, lost three shields. Okay. So she's down to one shield. And uh, Dash is still at five hit points. No, he's got two. Dash has got two left. Okay. You're getting caught up here, guys. Sorry. Yeah, 
Oh, no way! Oh, but it's Dash. It's Dash. It's not so bad. One Imperial player had Quick Draw, Vader, Inquisitor. That actually would be a great combo. Lots of high pilot skill aces is always good. Yeah, I, I'm even going to be getting in on that action a bit, so. So he was gunning after my Jakku, I cloaked Jakku. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And I was just focused and rolling. I was rolling six dice. No, I'm sorry, yeah. I got it. It was my cloak device. Six dice. He just kept trying to kill me. That's what I'm flying. Nimranda. Yeah. So that's what I did. I just, I So six and a half minutes left, gentlemen. And that's Dash down for the count. Damn, well played, gents. Well played. So that is, wow, 100 points for Eric. All right, there you go. Well, thanks for joining us for this game as well, folks. Uh, we're going to be taking a short break. I think it's going to be about a 15 to 20 minute break here. And then we will get 15 minute break starting now. Uh, and then we will come back with the final, which uh, appears to be Eric versus Ray. Right on. So we'll see you guys back here in just a few minutes.